Good morning, Jeff Nail here. I uh, hope everyone is doing well, remaining um, healthy, and uh, navigating, pivoting well during this uh, this um, chaos, if you will. Um, here, sitting at the table, the desk, if you will, uh, in my normal position. Um, Wanting to, uh, you know, just connect and share some ideas. I, I was just having a, a conversation with um, a good friend regarding uh, opportunity cost. And I wanted to take some time to, uh, to go over um, the ideology of that. You know, because a lot of times we have been... Um, taken advantage of in our personal lives and like unbeknownst to us because like it becomes like normal in some capacities like we all have that connection um, however however related um, that is habitually late or uh, habitually um, uh, just unreliable and I feel like we somehow condone that uh, behavior and um, it just like kind of morphs and mutates and um, being passive aggressive kind of makes it worse if you will but um, it kind of goes through in uh, business as well and we have to respect people's time and the capacity that somebody could be doing anything else you know um, with the block of time that they've invested in you as an example and um, in terms of like just a visual example you know I have uh, an orange and I have an apple and I'm hungry but I can only have one so I choose the orange and the orange is unsatisfying. Like I don't enjoy it. It's it's been, um, you know, it's been sitting out too long. It's not ripe, or you know, whatever whatever the case may be. But now, since I've chosen that orange, I can't have the apple. You know, and um, opportunity cost is that same way. You know, if we're planning on doing something at ten o'clock today, as an example, I've blocked off that time so potentially one other person two other people one at that same time but it was blocked off for you and uh outside of that because it's not even like somebody's like you know has to be that busy but just the the idea of having a the 10 o'clock time blocked off is using some sort of brain activity you know and causing like you know potentially stress or anxiety you know to you know greater or lower degrees um, that doesn't allow that person to navigate in that in that day in the same capacity, um, you know. So I, I like I just wanted to take time to share that standpoint to make sure that people understood uh, opportunity cost. And you know, I'm not talking about exceptions. You know, you know, in terms of things coming up. Like I understand, like things come up. You know, mistakes are made. You know, traffic happens, uh, so on and so forth. But just don't make it the norm. Don't make that the the definite the the defining factor of how people describe you uh, as uh, being unreliable or habitually late or you know whatever the case may be. Um, you know, show uh, that you uh, respect that other person's time, and uh, you know, be open and honest. You know, if if now isn't a good time to connect with that person, whether it be. Um, professional or business related you know just you know share that as well and just be open and honest like hey right now it's not a good time I've got a lot going on in my business life or in my personal life and uh, maybe if we revisit that you know next month or you know I, you know whatever the case may be but just be open and honest with people and um, you know don't necessarily try to um, preserve people's feelings by setting a false expectation and uh, I'll leave you with this 
that I don't believe that me personally, I try to, you know, get everywhere on time, uh, even, you know, early uh, in most cases. However, I do feel like there is like a 10 to 15 minute window based on the chaos of life in general, uh, even amongst this pandemic, um, where 10 to 15 minutes is, 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 um, is more than acceptable. Um, but, uh, again, don't make that a habit either. It's just one of those things where it's just like me personally in my head, I'm not going to get bent out of shape over 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, but, um, but yeah, that's my, uh, that's my story. I'm sticking with it. Hopefully you enjoyed my uh, my take. And if you uh, did or didn't, leave some feedback and let's talk about it. You know, maybe make a part two to this. See what other people think. Uh, we'll talk soon.